Hi there, this is Doorman with another product review. Today I'm going to be looking at the GE Wireless Door Chime. I bought it at Walmart for about $15. You can also find it online. I've already opened up the clamshell packaging so you guys don't have to watch me struggle. Inside you'll find that the doorbell is actually tethered to it by a red and black wire. This wire allows you to demo the six sounds that come with the doorbell. It has foghorn, Westminster, Cuckoo Clock, Ring Bell, Gong, Knock, and Regular Bell. The packaging also comes with the wireless bell, a small battery, two wall anchors, four screws, and an adhesive strip. The adhesive strip we're not going to use in this demonstration. You will need three C batteries. I went and bought a pack of the Railvac, six of them, at Walmart for six dollars. It also comes with the instruction manual, which opens up and has two different languages. To set up the doorbell, you're going to open the battery cover on the back and pull the black and white wire from its socket. Then you can discard the packaging. Also you have to remove the demo batteries, which are under a piece of tape. To do so, you can take a fairly small screwdriver, stick it under the tape to where you can pull, and then you're going to pull to remove. It will pull out the three demo batteries. Once you do that, you can install the C batteries. And reinstall the door. That's all you need for the receiver and bell. To set up the switch, you're going to need the small screwdriver again, flathead. You're going to place the screwdriver into the little slot to push the tab in and up. which pops open the door. Once you get the door off, you pull it off. Inside, you'll see where you put the battery. Also, several jumper terminals and a set of dip switches. The jumper terminals are to in change the house code. If, let's say, some of your close neighbors have the same doorbell um, or you know it just doesn't work, you're going to want to remove one jumper at a time to change the code and then test it again. We're not going to be using that for this demonstration. The dip switches here are to change between the tones. Um, once again, you've got six tones to choose from. The instruction manual has a little guide here on how to set the dip switches for each tone that you want. Once you have this out, you're going to insert the battery. It's a small A28, 23A battery. You're going to put the negative side against the spring and press it down. I currently have this one set to Westminster. You're going to mount the back, whether using the adhesive strip to put on here and then mount it to your surface, or use the smaller screws and just screw them through the hole. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and or uh, an electric drill for this. Once you have that done, you're going to mount the receiver and bell by putting in the wall anchors into your drywall and then screwing the screws into it, leaving them partially out so they will fit in the key switches on the back. For my purposes, I'm just going to set this on a bookshelf so I won't need to mount it to the wall. Once you have this mounted outside, it has a, an arrow with up. You're going to snap the, the you're going to snap the button back to it by putting it on the top first and then snapping down the bottom. It's as simple as that. Once everything's installed, you're going to turn the off-on switch on the side of the bell to on. Once you press your button, you've got your wireless doorbell all set up and ready to go. 
I think for $15, this is a fantastic value. GE's got wonderful name brand behind it, so you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching. Once again, this is Doorman with another product review.